What is up gamers, Rick Ryard and back again with another tutorial and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some beautiful melodies. It's going to be pretty simple, I'm just going to be making a, uh, a melody, I'm going to be adding a bunch of layers to it, effects, and then I'm going to make a beat to it, lay it out, and hopefully you guys like it, hopefully you guys learn some stuff just by watching me do all this, so um, that being said, let's get straight into this cook up. Alright, so first... Um, I'm just gonna grab a sound, um, piano right here from my Mirror Touch Kit Volume 1, the Dumpling Piano. I'm gonna put the attack down, keep the release up, then I'm going to kind of just start fiddling around with some notes. I'm gonna try to draw a little simple melody that can repeat, um, for two bars or maybe even four bars, or counts whatever these numbers up here and then i'm gonna uh put some chords underneath All right, I have my melody. I'm just gonna add some chords to this. for a sound put that on a mixer one and now i'm gonna start layering it so i'm gonna open up let's open up electra x um just gonna go into the keys let's grab electro so i think this would be cool to have on the top melody but i don't really need chords for this so i'm just gonna take out these notes Alright, now I'm just gonna add um, the sound also from my Mirror Touch Kit. I'm gonna put this on the third mixer track. Then I'm gonna put um, Effectrix on it. I'm gonna use the reverb from it. Let's try it. So as you can tell right now, um, basically that higher frequency range is kind of taking up all of this area over here. So we need something in the lower register to sort of counteract with that melody and make it, you know, um, feel more full. I'm going to take this bass right here, grab my chords, put them right here, doing control, uh, control V.
like how that sounds. Now I'm going to do um, one more layer. I'm going to open up Electra X real quick again. Let's just find a good pad first. I'm going to copy this layer so we can hear some stuff while we play it. I'm going to take all these extra notes out. We don't need any of that. We just want the chords in this one. Now that we have that, I'm just going to go to my bass real quick, look at the key. It's an adequate key, we can keep it there. If we want, we could probably bring it up, maybe, or bring it down one. No, I think it's a good key. Alright, now that we have that, I'm just going to put that on the playlist, then I'm going to add another pattern, put my drums on here. Cutthroat 808 Classic Magma Drum Kit. Paste that on down there. Then I'm going to actually go back to the first pattern, split that bad boy, and put it right here. And I'm just going to do a quick export of all these sounds without the bass line. I just want to have some more flexibility with these sounds, so I'm just going to bounce these out real quick. Reverse it like that. Um, and then we can cut it like this. Flip these around like so. swap these two real quick this part over here go to my hi-hats put a little hi-hat in there um, then actually I'm just gonna go right here to my MIDI kits uh, Nick Mira Intel hi-hat MIDI kit double way supply Then I'm just gonna drag in a MIDI <laughs>
now for this last piano melody right here, I'm going to um, pitch it up an octave. Actually, no, I'm going to keep it down here. I'm just going to add some higher notes. Then I'm going to render that out real quick. hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this beat and melody and all that good stuff so um if you did just let me know in the comments and twitter instagram twitch youtube everything's nick mira so appreciate you guys watching and i'm gonna play the beat now see y'all You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs>